Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a new small language model called New Extract 1.5. It's a small language model that helps you, you know, to extract information in a structured manner from unstructured text data. Now imagine if you have, you know, text corpus which is really unstructured and if you want to generate maybe the information in a key value pair or in structure manner right how we can do that using a small language model a model which is not that large okay like model which has more than 5 billion parameters for example right uh, in industry any model which has you know around 1 to 5 billion uh, parameters have been treated as a small language model you know in the industry so nowadays even enterprises are looking at small language models because slms are like you know easier to work with it it needs less compute power you know it, it's also better to manage in a way uh and, and if it's open source it's even better because you can then further fine tune it aligning it you know with your uh domain specific tasks right if you have data and you want to fine tune small language models you can do it and as we are moving towards agentic workflows agents can also leverage multiple tools which are empowered by small language models and you don't need like uh really compute required or compute heavy models because those are not also sustainable in a way right if you are an enterprise and you are focusing on sustainability or want to move towards green ai or greener ai right that's where you should look into small language models and i'm going to talk about new extract very easy to work with you know it can help you generate quality structured information from abundance of unstructured data so let's have a look here now i'm on their hugging face uh, repo right now it's called it's by new mind it's called new extract 1.5 and by the way this guy is not a sponsored video i like open source there is not a single video on my channel which is sponsored you know till till today okay uh, i'm creating this because i like this model now new extract 1.5 by new mind is a fine tuning uh by of 5 3.5 mini instruct model now we also have 5.4 which is multimodal by microsoft now it's trained on a high quality data set for structured information extraction it's very important now imagine if you want to do entity extraction or if you want to you know uh create structured information that can go as a metadata as well in your rag workflow so this can be used at a lot of places technically and also non-technically if you just want to like you know uh uh discover some information you can also use it and this can also use this can also be used as a uh, metadata uh, enhancer in your rag workflows it says it supports long documents and several languages it can also it can also do english french spanish german mostly european languages you provide an input text and a json template that's what you're gonna do and you can see they have performed really well when you compare this model with gpt 40 and Llama 3.170. We look at GPT-40, 1.8 trillion parameters, guys. Such a huge model. And we compare that with new extract, 3.8 billion on zero sort performance on Levenstein, which is the Levenstein distance. And if you are aware of semantic similarities or you have worked with semantic similarities algorithm, you will know about Levenstein, Jacquard, cosine, blah, 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 right? Now, on Levenstein, F, or the F1 score on Levenstein is 0 0.68, which is which has even surpassed models like GPT-40, which is fantastic. That's what you need, right? Why would you pay money, you know, to open AI for information extraction if you can use these models on CPU machines mm -hmm. as well, guys? Right? You don't probably need GPU to use this, right? So that's that's how that's how good it is, right? And multilingual also, you can see it's little less than GPT-40, but that's fine, you know. And if you look at long long document, eight to ten k tokens per chunks, right? If you look at here, it's, it has surpassed all the other models. Uh, that's fantastic. Now they also have a tiny model, which is not that good, which is based on QN two point five. So if you look at new extract one point five tiny, if you don't have like, and it's only four ninety four parameters, guys, right? It's not. It's like up to five hundred parameters you can use this. That's like a embedding model that we use. It's so so small uh you know 500 parameters you can extract information you know from these models uh that's fantastic but i'm focused on focusing today on the uh version 1.5 the base one not the tiny one so that's what we're gonna look at now they have a given a, a playground but first i'll show you how you can do it so 
you don't have to install anything except transformers and torch so we already have it and i have a function here called predict new extract you can see it takes all the parameters like model tokenizer your text your template and the uh, maximum length batch size so on and so forth takes the template it should be in the json schema if you if you don't have it in a json structure also that's fine they they dump that in a json dot, using json dot dumps you can see it over here they have a prompt that's their own prompt template you know uh structure and then output which is an empty list they will append that uh and then just iterating it through you know that you can see the we the first doing the encodings then using model generate to find out the output and then decode that to uh convert the numerical representation to text like back to text and then just load the model uh, make sure you are using any gpu if you don't have that's also fine it will be a bit slow and this is where you, where text goes in you can see there's a sample text and i have defined a template you can see this template that they have given on the documentation you can create a new template i'll show you you can how you can create a new template and then this is a prediction you can see and we create that and it basically gives you the output here you can see the model uh in such a structured way right mistral 7b number of parameters blah 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 architectures you just model can inference it guys you don't have to like explicitly define like when we used to do function calling we used to give enough context uh, to the model you probably don't have to even do that the model is smart enough to kind of infer the infer or correlate with the other sentences or text that we have right now I've, you can also create your own gradio application so i'll show you i've created over here one and you can see it's running and you can host that you know if you want to host it for some use case validation you can also do that now here you can give your input text right uh here you can give your input text let's give some input text so i'm going to search here for example let's say llama model can we search i think i searched llama okay let me do llama three language model I just want to take some uh, content from here, guys. Okay, if I can take it. So let's say Llama 2, till Llama 2, we take it. Oh, you know, uh, we come here and then we just keep the same. And when you submit it, right, it's going to take a time, but they also have their own playground. I'm going to show you that playground here quickly. Uh, okay, meanwhile, it's done. So you can look at the extracted info. It gives you the model name, number of parameters, number of max token, which is wrong. So this is wrong because there's multiple models. So it got it wrong. Architecture, that is fine. It, it inferred huge cases. That is good. License, open source. The only thing which got wrong is number of max token, which is not correct, which is also a number of parameters because when Llama was launched, there were different variants of model, 13B, 70B, etc. But that's completely fine, right? We can still make this better. You know, the way we have to create the template. Now, this is one example. The other example can be that they have their own playground over here. You can see it's called new extract playground, which is hosted on Hugging Face Face. You know, if I take uh, these startup data, now imagine if you have to, you have scrolled, you have basically extracted data from any website, right? This is a European EU startups website where they have all the listed EU startups. And I want to create a, uh, I want to make this more structured. How can I do that? If that's my plan, you know, I can also do it. I have a simple startup template. I'm gonna come here and I'm going to put paste here. Let's paste it. And when you click on submit, now since it's there's an error of uh, there's an error here. Okay, we can probably see why there's an error. Uh, let's go back. It says extracting value, well, something with a JSON, but well, that's fine. JSON dot dump. Let me see. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> one second why there is an error startup name country uh tax founding year and then oh, that's fine if that's we can probably and I ran it exactly here. You can see it was like, let's let's run it here in their playground. I probably am, I have to do some parsing on the JSON on the Gradio, but here on their playground, it should work. So if you look at here, and it all it also very similar to what we used to do in Spacey, but there then we had we had to fine tune our own models, you know, to get the entities from an structured text. Now here you can find out the startup name. You can see the startup name. 
in body, country, tax, founding year, which is fantastic, right? It, it's so structured. Now, I have to probably figure out why I got that. Oh, but that's okay. We can figure it out later. Okay, so the idea is that you can use this to create your own uh, APIs as well. Now, imagine if you want to deploy this model, you can deploy it on Bedrock, you can deploy it on SageMaker, you can deploy this on Azure ML or SageMaker and even run pod and host this as a serverless endpoint and you get an API and you can integrate this in any application or you can basically sell this as well. You know, you can start selling it. We can deploy it on Replicate or wherever you want to deploy it, guys. You know, that's how good it is, right? Now, uh, I like small language models because I, I, I think right now the way we are moving towards every day releasing a new LLM, that bubble will burst. That's how it happened in 2015, 16 when TensorFlow and all those well came in. Every day a new module was coming in. People are talking about all those images, more computer vision models or image classification models. Every week a new model used to come. And that's what's happening uh, now because the ceiling will hit very soon when the, the, there will be no more quality data. It will be all like same reusable. People will reuse the data from here and there and that makes no value. So small language models are good for people who have limited compute. Not everybody can host NVIDIA GPUs, right? So uh, if you're someone who is looking for a smaller model that can uh, extract structured information, new extract is the right model for you. So. Uh, let me know what you are building with this. I'll give you this code. It's already available, but I'll give you the graduate application code uh, through a gist. Uh, if you have any question, thoughts, or feedbacks, let me know in the comment box. Uh, you can also reach out to me through my social media channel. Find the information on channel, channel banner and channel about us. If you like the content, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.